Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about a sleep topic that some people deal with and it's called PTSD or trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder. So with post-traumatic stress disorder, people that don't sleep well because of it may be getting up like in the middle of the night in a lot of fear, a lot of terror, night sweats, hot sweats. There's lots of different ways this looks, but you're like re-envisioning the post, the trauma that you've experienced. And with PTSD, I always, I, like in my experience, the, the trauma integrates into our cells. And when it's in our cells, our body responds in ways that we don't even necessarily realize because we can't control those actual trauma responses. So it's a, it goes to a cellular level and it's programmed those cells to react. So I always recommend talking to a professional that deals with trauma in whatever area that you've had trauma, there are specific areas that professionals can address. So search somebody out, but there are essential oils that support our bodies so we can help sleep. But also working with a professional is very important in this area with trauma and PTSD. So certain oils that help, it depends on the root of the trauma. That I, In my experience, I have found that. So with certain trauma, some people have found vetiver to be very calming and relaxing and soothing for any type of times where that trauma comes up and it's your body's responding and you're melting down like this is during the day or at night. Um, so putting it on the base of your neck, the occipital point there under the hairline, that has been really helpful to calm, especially for children. It's a really easy point to put, and when the children are dealing with PTSD, this is a very good oil to help. At night, you can put it in the diffuser, and if you are getting up at night with trauma, be sure that your diffuser is like a 10 to 12 hour diffuser, so you can be constantly be exposed to the, the, the oils to calm the brain. Also, create a rollerball for yourself, and if you are still waking up, put that on your feet or under your nose to help, or even cupping and inhaling that in your hand. Another oil that helps with PTSD and trauma is cedarwood. So cedarwood could be um, rooted in traumas that maybe you felt really alone, uh, disconnected, no one to talk to. During that time of trauma, this would be an oil that might work. The veteran may be more like physical aspects going spiraling out of control that you've seen trauma on a loved one and that has caused trauma on you. So there's different aspects in regards to that. Another one that has helped with PTSD is Copaiba, and this oil works on the endocannabinoid system and works on the nervous system to help really relax and calm all the nerves. So one way to use this is a drop under the tongue, and you can also diffuse it or put it on the back of the neck, but internally is a very beautiful way to use this oil when you're experiencing trauma. Another two oils that I have used just to help heal and maintain with trauma, like to grow and heal with trauma, is balance oil. So balance oil on the bottom of your feet, just to ground you throughout the day. I would do this daily, especially if you're dealing with trauma, and just have it on hand, put it over your heart when, you, when something comes up. Um, you could also use frankincense, and frankincense is also in here, but frankincense would help with that. And then juniper berry diffused at night will help with any more trauma fears that are coming up as well. So those few oils are really helpful and supportive to move through PTSD, but also talking to a professional is very important in this area. Thanks, guys. And talk to you later.